Hello everyone, John Jigger 12 back here again, and yes, it's time for another review. Yes, I know I've been coming out with reviews up the ass, but what can I say? Friday was awesome. You had fucking X-Men Days of Future Past come out, and the season 2 finale of Hannibal. Yes, season 2 finale, and here's my review. I know it's been a while since I did a Hannibal review, but I said I'd come back for the finale, and here I am. But let's get right down into this review, seeing as how a lot of shit happened. Majority of the episode is... Is mostly um, Hannibal, you know, and uh, Will, and and just like various other characters trying to figure out what they're gonna do and what they're how they're gonna get out uh, to the escape the n atrocities that are eventually gonna happen. And Jack is trying to convince Graham, you know, to stay on his side, and Hannibal is trying to convince him to stay on his side because. Because it's it's a real power struggle of the minds, you know. It's more it's that's what the overall plot of this um, episode is, and you know loyalties are really tested, you know, because Graham has to decide who's going to um, go with, and but Jack is uh, going to fulfill his mission of catching, of course, the Ripper, who is Hannibal, and Hannibal is um, set on, you know, sh revealing himself to Jack finally. So obviously. Everything ends with like a big ass brawl. Freaking Hannibal just beats the shit out of Jack. Jack beats the crap out of Hannibal and vice versa. But ends terribly. I, I think it was kind of crazy. Uh, we've already seen this um, scenes from prior episodes, like the the beginning of the season. So we already knew this was gonna come up. Everything in this season was leading up for this exact moment where Jack would figure out that Hannibal is who he is, and they would f um, fight to the death, which was pretty awesome, I have to admit, it was pretty cool to see that, uh, I don't know, it was just overall very interesting. <sighs> overall, I kind of didn't like the fact that uh, that lady, I can't, I can't fucking remember her name, the actress's um, character's name, but... You know she some she basically comes in and like takes over the of the whole like mission or whatever and takes over the whole situation that's going on because Jack broke laws with Graham and their whole situation to you know catch um Hannibal and you know giving up his rights his personal human rights or whatever the fuck all that nonsense I don't know it was really annoying to see that it's like God like the second we're so close to catching this fuck you have to come over and fuck it all up but Jack continues his wife is. On the verge of death, uh, Graham really doesn't have anything. Uh, then you have, um, once again, I forgot. It's like I forget, like, majority of all these characters' names, but, god damn, I for forgot. Uh, the, the woman's, the woman character, I completely forgot, I'm sorry. Someone remind me, I, actually, don't remind me, I'll figure it out myself later. But, the woman character who's been sleeping with Hannibal, and who has a relationship with both him and, and Graham, comes in with with a gun and tries to, you know, neutralize the, the whole situation of Jack practically dying in the closet and Hannibal, like, standing in front of her bloody with fucking knives. Sh ends terribly. Really, they have a good standoff. Ends terribly. She has no bullets. Hannibal comes in for the attack. And then you find out Abigail's alive. Yes, Abigail, spoilers, Abigail is alive. How is that possible? Was that referenced in pr prior episodes? I don't know. I really didn't expect that. I am surprised that Abigail is actually alive. Why Why was she alive? What was the sole purpose of having her alive this whole time? I really don't know. I cannot remember. I'm going to have to fucking go back and watch it. Somebody, you know what? Fuck that. In the comment section, someone um, answer that for me. Please. But overall, uh, it ends with Graham coming in. He finds everybody's fucked up. He comes in, discovers that Abigail is alive, and then, of course, Hannibal comes in for the kill. Well, he doesn't really kill Graham. They have a really good, interesting conversation. It's kind of hard to understand, though, because Hannibal says it very lightly, and sometimes it's hard for me to, like, understand his accent. So someone explain it to me further, um, if, you, if, if you like, without coming off douchey. But overall, it's pretty interesting. It's kind of to the book, you know, we kind of... Um, this whole season has been great. Like, I've said this with the episode one. Like, season two was fucking phenomenal. I have to say, every single step in the road, fucking amazing. I love how they expanded the universe a little bit, or the, the book, rather. 
because we are doing this is a prequel to Red Dragon and we kind of get into more detail of characters in Red Dragon not to mention future characters from Silence of the Lambs and Hannibal so I fucking thought it was amazing to fucking see like those characters but it was pretty fucking to the book you know I, I didn't like I liked everything, but the ending of Hannibal getting away kind of just didn't sit well with me. I mean, like, there was all this build-up, all this leading up to, and you kind of have Hannibal leave. Uh, it was just kind of unexpected. I really didn't expect that, because in the book, the same sequence happens. You know, Hannibal and Graham are confronted with each other. Graham, I mean, Graham's, you know, going to attack with, um, Hannibal. Hannibal stabs him in the abdomen with a knife and just cuts him and guts him like a fish and of course all his guts fall out and he's bleeding to death he majority loses everything and then Hannibal is captured by police afterwards so I kind of would like to have seen that to the book more but I guess um, producers at NBC uh, seeing as how they want to see Hannibal be Hannibal much more longer instead of being Silence of the Lambs Hannibal I guess they um rather to option out from that decision but i i would have gone the other way i don't know why they had to go that way and also uh it was kind of interesting to see that hannibal's on a plane to god knows where probably france europe rome just pick pick one because he's going to somewhere but he's going with a psychiatrist why is that i, I, I kind of felt that she was against him the whole time but apparently not i really don't get that someone explain some once again someone explain Hannibal is so smart, and the things he does is way too smart for me to understand. So I'm going to need the power of YouTube watchers to comment and describe to me what this means without making me feel like a dumb dumb. Your job, go. But overall, the fucking episode... See, the finale was just amazing. Season 2 of Hannibal overall was amazing. I loved every aspect. I, I was really in doubts of how the, um, season 2 would go out, seeing as how, how we ended in the prior season. But everything was great. Graham was great. Well, the performances were great. The effects were great. The gore and, and nastiness was great. Hannibal was great. Everything, Every aspect about the show was amazing. I loved it. There were things that I didn't like, you know, and also introduction of other characters. There were things I didn't like, like the, the death of several characters that I really enjoyed. You know, for instance, uh, the Asian uh, detective. I forgot her name as well. I, God, I keep forgetting names. I'm fucking retarded today. But I, I really didn't like the fact that she died, you know, because I really liked her character and it was really sad. Like I, I literally was seeing upon seeing that image of her being separated in pieces, <laughs> it was shocking to the point like I almost cried. You know, that's how much I was invested in that character because I was hoping that she would kind of make it. But no, she kind of gets screwed over from from trying to believe Graham. You know, and tried to prove him right, you know, which was shocking. But overall, this season was great. I loved it. The finale was great. They they could have went a lot longer. I don't know I don't know why they didn't option to make the episode longer so we can have more stuff to do because majority of it was talking. Majority of it was Hannibal and Graham just talking and, and Jack talking and and the same sequence we saw in the beginning. So I don't know. I would have optioned to make the episode longer but overall it was amazing there were things i didn't understand i'm probably gonna have to rewatch it to fully comprehend what the fuck happened but overall the season was awesome the finale was great i give it a 9.5 it was fucking a phenomenal i cannot wait for season three and yes people hannibal has been uh renewed for a third season so it will be returning next year and i will be reviewing it because this series is awesome i, I keep saying it over and over again nbc has a great hitter with them with this fucking show uh, if it weren't for Hannibal I wouldn't have faith in their new upcoming shows or current shows you know like Rosemary's Baby and Constantine I wouldn't give two shits if, if it weren't for Hannibal so I give NBC like full credit and plus all those living dead guys who work on Hannibal fucking credit up the ass for doing such a phenomenal job it was amazing uh, I also would love for other you know TV pro networks and and creators who are doing shows like Hannibal to like really take notes from the people who are making Hannibal because they know how to fucking make a show. 
And this show is pretty phenomenal for, especially one that I wasn't expecting to be good. It fucking, fucking blew my fucking head off. It was amazing. So, but overall, season three is coming back next year. I don't know. They didn't release a date as to when season three will be coming out. But Hannibal is on the loose. Graham, um, Jack, uh, everybody knows that Hannibal is out there. So they obviously going to put him on the most wanted list and probably go on the search for him. Graham will finally get his... Uh, Hopefully, confrontation with Hannibal, and hopefully Hannibal will be in bars by the time we get to season three, or at least the end of season three. And I don't know if I'm going to be making future videos of like predictions for season three, but overall, when season three does come out next year, I will be reviewing the first episode. You can um, be sure from that. But overall, I did love the episode. But what did you guys think? Did you enjoy season two finale? Did you enjoy the season two overall? What are your thoughts on Hannibal? What are your thoughts on Hannibal like getting off? I personally didn't like it, but it was still visually pleasing to the you know I loved it. This se like I said, the season two was amazing. I loved every aspect of it. But what are your thoughts? And plus, in the comment section, give them to me. But also give me. All the other things I asked for because I don't understand. But overall, season two was great. The finale was great. Performances, the visuals, everything was great. I cannot wait for season three. But overall, thanks for watching.